Hi, Jim Wilmot here, Chair of PRA, giving you a, an update in the last six weeks of uh, what we've been up to. We've, uh, as as our, one of our commitments from our uh, conference we held in Gympie in June was to develop a billboard strategy and form a subcommittee. And we've done just that. And we're really looking at our first billboard um, being run in Rockhampton as a, uh, I guess, countering the uh, PETA billboard that's really calling out if you um, eat beef, uh, you kill koalas. So that's happening um, in October and we'll have many more hopefully regional billboards um, across Queensland in the lead up um, to the next state election. Um, we've also been doing a number of road shows. Um, we've done a road show uh, recently in Ipswich where we uh, brought together a number of people who are having some issues in regards to property rights in the urban area and on the urban fringe. And believe me, there's heaps of property rights down there that are being eroded uh, by local government, state government, and indeed federal government. Um, people were really interested to hear too, just some of the impacts that, um, that are affecting communities, whether it's reef, vegetation, or the ridiculous pace uh, these renewables are being rolled out. Um, community, other community meetings we have attended, uh, look, there's been one in uh, Linville, just west of Kilcoy, one in Crow's Nest, and another one soon in Tagulawa. And people are just, I guess, very appreciative of all the issues that are affecting their uh, property rights at this point in time and will be affecting their uh, property rights in the future. Um, we've also had a very good meeting in Kilkeven with David Littleproud and um, Lou O'Brien with the Kilkeven community uh, coming together to discuss the key issues, um, what's coming out of the rush to renewables and how they're affecting their property rights, um, being transmission lines, uh, pump hydro, and the impact of, I guess, this mad rush from this Labor government in putting transmission lines and industrial scaled uh, wind and solar complexes all over good quality ag land. Um, also, we've really responded uh, to the, uh, recently responded to the UNESCO letter uh, from Tanya Plibersek that was um, penned in May this year, where basically um, I think we've got the federal uh, Labor uh, running scared of the UNESCO and the uh, World Heritage Committee because um, they're saying that, you know, we're looking at um, putting the reef into a category of endangered. So Labor's put these commitments forward where we're going to see a whole host of issues um, that are going to restrict our property rights further. And there are things like doubling compliance in reef catchments, more restrictions on vegetation, and um, look what they've done in pulling back in all the issues in regards to commercial fishes. So really what's happening here is they're using the reef as a political football and it's really rural and regional communities that are going to pay and our livelihoods are going to pay. So I really implore you to start asking the hard questions of your local state members. And I'll start asking them, you know, what's your position on vegetation management? What's your position on reef? reef compliance, reef regulation, and what's your position on the rollout with renewables? You know, are they supportive of the um, Labor government's approach here in Queensland, or do they have a different tact? We need to know as we head into next year, 2024, the year of state elections. So that's about it from me. Uh, look, we're really busy. Please give me a call um, if you want further information or drop us a line. And remember, um, we're in this together. Um, I've just seen a really good video from Catherine Myers who came up to our conference in June. Those communities down there are standing up, um, just like the communities here recently stood up at the uh, rally for renewables and also the, um, the rally against the impacts on commercial fishing. We've got to stand up together and be united and really put forward our position and so the government hears us, both the government that is in power and the opposition. We need to know where they stand on these key issues that affect our property rights. That's all I've got to say, and I'll speak to you again in September.